Jacqueline Coates and I'm here to answer a question for one of my students. How do I sign my work when I finish my painting? Okay, this is a great question because in my view, when you sign, when you put your signature on the artwork, it actually becomes another design element. Interestingly, I went to a modern art expo recently and uh, it had probably about 150 artists showing and I did a little bit of a count and there was probably only about two artists who actually signed the front of their artwork, unbelievably enough. Um, and for myself, all through my career, I've signed the back. So what I do is I take the, the canvas, rather than put it on the front, I actually get a permanent marker and I sign my name, like as I would sign it on a check or something like that, so it's my particular mark. I put my name in print as well so that one day, when I'm no longer around on the planet, somebody can identify my scrawl as being me. I put the date and then I put the title of the painting in, uh, in, in commas and that's it. So um, sometimes I know there are artists who don't want to put a date on their work because it, they feel that it dates it if they haven't sold it within a year, it means something. It just means that the right buyer hasn't turned up actually. So they actually do a code rather than put, ooh, a code rather than putting in the date. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I haven't <laughs> even had a gin and tonic. Mm -hmm. So they often put like a code to reveal what the date is. They hide the date in the code. So that's another way that you can deal with your dates if you want. So um, it seems to be the modern ways not to sign the front of your canvas. Um, I remember seeing an artist in a hotel in Sydney, and he had like there was a shop and there was stuff in the foyer and. It, obviously was enjoying a successful run, there were big pieces, and the signature was about this big. Wow. So that guy did it like and it was almost like a hieroglyphic, um, but it was very, very dominating. I guess you have to decide, you know, how much of your, yourself you're inserting into the painting. For me, I feel like when you put your signature on the work, it's uh, your ego landing on there in some way. And I prefer that this is the artwork comes out of your unconscious and out of, out of the ether and it's more pure and it's something for everyone to enjoy. You're merely the conduit for this thing to come into the world. That's my own feeling. Um, you need to personalise it for yourself. I take pictures of the Impressionist painters and how they sign. And often it's like quite small and it, they've got a nice uh, bit of spacing between the lettering and it's spread out and the signature is something that's really attractive. For example, if you did really want to sign your work, you could just take it up to a slightly lighter grey tone and put it in here. It's generally bottom right corner. Um, if you sign up here, it's going to be a bit weird, isn't it? On this top corner. You know, the thing is that when you put it on there, your attention will go to the signature. Is that what you want? I think that the, the attention needs to be here. I think we need to enjoy it. So for me, I wouldn't sign the front. It's up to you. But there are ways that you can do it so that it's um, not going to spoil the work. The main thing is if you do sign the front of your work, keep it consistent so that your work can, is recognisable with the same signature. I have um, two artist friends who do lots of painting from life and uh, lots of still life, lots of landscape, and they tend to sign in red with a little fine brush. Um, it is something that takes time to do after you've done your painting as well. So after you finish your painting, then you've got to get the signature right if the paint doesn't go down how you want. You've got quite a lot of fiddling to do with that as well. So, you know, they're all the reasons that I prefer to use a permanent marker across the, the top back of the fold of the canvas. Um, yeah, so have a think about it. Here's another example of a canvas. Would we put one here? If we did, we'd probably put it here in just a slightly lighter tone than that grey. You can do it quite subtly. You can even do it with initials if you prefer, rather than if you've got a, a huge double barreled name, you know, George Fassa Wentworth or something. I'm making this up entirely. You could put JFW, something like that. And this one, you certainly wouldn't go white on top of here, would you? So you'd probably go, you know, where would you sign? You wouldn't sign it there. You have to go over here, really. Um, we tend to read from left to right and we don't want to read the signature as the first thing. So you'd have to do it just as a very much, maybe a, a grey would be good, a grey pink. Very, very soft and only maybe a tonal difference, just a, a, a tiny tonal difference from the actual colour there. So 
I personally don't sign my, the fronts of my canvas for the reasons that I feel like it adds a design element I don't want in there. I feel that it's, e it's, it's ego rather than what the work is about. I feel that if the work is any, re really any good, you can recognise that it's from you with your distinctive twist of how, with how you do the work. And for that reason, I do it on the back. But if you want to do it, think about what colour you do it in. Think about how big it is. Don't make it too big and maybe make it not too tonally contrasty. And, and observe how the impressionists have done it because they've done a great job.